What is going on everybody? I'm Killjoy641 and today we are going to learn how to use OBS Studio and set up everything for Twitch and Twitch alerts on this. This is very simple, very easy and it doesn't take very long and this should be maybe a 20 minute video and I'll show you guys how to set everything up. It's actually, I feel like a lot simpler than OBS Classic. The OBS video I originally showed probably a few months ago to a year from this video. Um, and I was like, you know, let's try OBS Studio. And a lot of people are like, yeah, I like this a lot better than Classic. So I jumped ship and tried it out, and it's pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot better than OBS Classic. And, you know, it's a little different, but it's not something too extreme. So uh, start do downloading that. Um, it doesn't take very long, 35, 50 seconds to start and uh, download and install, depending on your internet speed. And then we'll hop right into it. Um, I already got it up and ready to go. So once you um, start this up, it will open up like this. You have your scene, sources, and mixer. Mixer is kind of like what you had um, originally uh, in OBS where it had like your volume for your uh, game and your mic uh, in the screen like this. And of course you have your normal scenes and sources, which is fine. Um, and... Yeah, that's, it's really almost like that, except for this is just a lot better. And it's just more streamer-friendly because, I mean, you can add scene transitions, you can time it, all this stuff. It's really, really cool, and I'm going to show you guys just a little bit and the basics of it. So, um, first and foremost, we're going to start setting everything up to start be able to live stream to Twitch and all that before we set up a game and everything like that. So you can either go on the bottom right hand corner of your window for this or we can go to file and settings and um, your screen will probably look a little bit different because I have the theme dark instead of default because um, it should probably look exactly like this for you guys. And I was testing things out seeing how everything was going. So anyways, so this is what comes up um, in a language. English, of course, because I speak English. Theme, default, I like the dark color because it doesn't hurt my eyes as bad. Even though white doesn't really hurt, it's just, I don't know, my eyes are sometimes sensitive, especially when I've been staring at the screen for so long. Uh, show confirmation dialogue when starting streams or stopping them. It just shows up like, okay, your stream stopping in so many seconds or starting in so many seconds or it's starting right now. And it just notifies you, which, I mean, some people may like, some people may not. It just kind of uh, depends on your preference. Um, I have these two boxes checkmarked because I do like to record when I'm streaming and also to record when I stop streaming. So just in case, um, you know, I'm in the middle of a game, something hilarious ha or some like the my uh, stream goes down, I'm still recording, I'm still playing, and you guys miss something funny and I'm still able to upload it to YouTube and you guys get to see it. But, you know, if I didn't have that selected, then, you know, that really, really sucks. But um, that's why I have that. It's just kind of your preference on that. Um, source alignment snapping, I normally don't fiddle with any of this. I mean, you don't really have to. If you want to get really super advanced, you can and just kind of try that out. You can, but it's not, uh, you don't have to. Stream type, um, we're just going to leave it to streaming services. Do not do custom streaming service because we don't have a uh, certain streaming service that we can just go to. And this one's for Twitch, and the next video will probably be YouTube, YouTube Gaming, and then you can also do it to Facebook, which is really, really cool. Um, and then you could do oh, show all services, that kind of thing, which, I mean, it would show, like, everything possible that you can live stream to. Um, this will, what server you want, I'm going to choose Chicago because I live closer to it, and I'm going to click apply, and then we have to go to our Twitch channel, sign in, load up uh, the website, and then we're going to go to, after you click on your name up here, dashboard, and this is just saying, okay, here's your broadcast, here's all of these things, and you're going to click on stream key. And then you're going to click show key and it'll be like warning, you know, um, are you sure you want to do this? If you're recording or uh, doing this live, it may uh, show and I don't want that. So I'm going to put it over here and if it still records it, um, then that's bad and I'll just have to edit it out. So there, so that's in and we got it from that all you have to do is just copy and paste it in there so we can close that out which is fine and we'll get to this 
part here in a second. So click apply. It should be you should your stream key should be good. Um, and for output, we're going to keep this very simple. We're not going to do advance, which is this tab right here, which you can do multiple things, have multiple audio tracks, um, especially if you're recording, uh, put uh, the browsing recording path uh, instead of whatever, and it should be this one. So everyone knows or where you know where it's going to be if you record something then it's going to be in that file and i just have more space on that hard drive recording format i try to keep mine at mp4 because that's just easier for youtube to upload to that's just um easier for it and i mean if you were just going to upload the whole entire live stream unedited that's probably the fastest way uh to get it up there and then you can have multiple audio tracks that kind of thing rescale whatever you know and have the track name so you could type in game whatever and you would have to get like a virtual cable splitter i don't know there was a video a long time ago jack frags made on dx story and you were able to download it or something to be able to split that up and whatever but i think it costs like 20 bucks or something who knows so anyways um that's just kind of going overview on advanced but simple that's what we're going to be doing and I'm going to have my video bitrate to 3000 because this is dependent on your upload speed. If your upload speed is say like 10, um, 10 megabytes upload, then this should be fine right here. Like that is more than enough to be okay. Uh, software encoder, we're going to keep it times 264 and audio bitrate, I think I'm going to turn mine down to 144. So just in case if, you know, my stream starts to lag a lot, then, you know, then I know, okay, well, I need to turn one of those down. And this should be enough to um, record to, or at least live stream in 60 FPS to Twitch. So, and then uh, recording quality, you have the high quality, the second high quality, and then the lossless quality, which is, I mean, uh, they're just three different ones. It kind of depends. High quality, I kind of, I tested this out and, uh, if you zoom in on it, it's kind of blurry, but the second one, the indistinguishable, um, that's not too bad, and lossless is like clear as day, but I try to keep mine on the second one, and this is also dependent on your CPU and your RAM, how, how much RAM you have. I mean, I have 16 gigs of RAM. I mean, that's fine, plus recording and live streaming and gaming at the same time. Like, that's totally fine, and then, of course, keep this at MP4 because it's just easier if you were going to load it straight up to YouTube and most uh, m uh, movie editors, they use MP4 too. Keep it at times 264 and we're not going to do any custom mixer settings. And we're going to go to audio. So I keep mine at 44.1 kilohertz for sample rate and the stereo is channel or for channel stereo. And the desktop audio device needs to be your speakers, whatever you're listening to, or your default. If you already have that, I just like to have it selected that I know it's going to work. Um, so we have all that selected, and we're going to click apply, and then a new thing pops up saying mic aux, desktop audio. You can push to talk, push to mute, that kind of thing, and set a delay on it. I mean, I'm not going to really do any of that. Um, that's kind of totally up to you. So video... 1920 by 1080 because that's the resolution my monitor's at and then outscaled and this is really only for twitch this also gives you an option for youtube also but um for twitch i think you have to have so many followers or so many um live streams or something to have like twitch like okay hey you're cool here's a here's the little gear so then um you can start or people can like change the quality of your stream or whatever but I try to keep mine just a downgrade below, um, and I put mine at 720p. Uh, downscale uh, filter, uh, this will be the fastest, like if someone were trying to watch it, uh, but it will be blurry if they try to scale it. Um, by cubicle, this is probably the best one, I would say, uh, to live stream and or record at. Uh, I keep my FPS at 60 because most games are 60 now any days um 30 i don't really do unless um i was streaming on like a really poor device like uh, an older computer or something like that so i keep it like that you got hotkeys if you want to do that you can set a hotkey to switch a scene switch to a scene which is really cool and then you got the advanced here we're um 
where general process priority it's normal uh, we pretty much leave everything alone except for the stream delay and I like to set a stream delay to 10 to 15 seconds so say you're playing Daisy or some uh, survival game someone figures out um, where uh, what server you're in you know where you're at and so you don't get stream snipe pretty much um, and then of course oh whoa it crashed that's that's a first that's pretty cool Oh, okay. Well, it saved all of it. That's kind of surprising. That was a first. Yeah, and this is very unstable, by the way, because this is a very new thing. How far did we get? We didn't get very far. Okay, so got to reset everything here real quick. Okay, so we're going to click apply. Yeah, okay, so everything's back to normal. So anyways, so we're going to set a stream delay. Uh, I put mine to 15 seconds. And, of course, we're going to leave all this alone, automatically reconnect, of course. Uh, network, bind IP, leave it to default, and we're just going to click OK. So now you see that our mic aux, uh, it's picking up my voice, you know. If I were to click on Arma, which I have this on the, my second screen, it can hear the water and everything, and, of course, you guys can too. But we don't have any picture. We don't have anything like that. So with scene, you can just leave this as scene, or you can rename it to... Uh, streaming when you're streaming or you can like copy exactly what you had on the old OBS and then we're gonna right click not like normal into sources and we're gonna add game capture click OK and then instead of um, right here it says mode capture any applic full act full screen application wow that's really hard to say capture certain window and we're just going to copy that and I'm just going to click on it and then it pops up and it's all uh, picking my mouse and everything up so that looks good um, and we're going to make sure use anti-cheat compatibility hooking is checked because a lot of games now um, they have a fit with uh, OBS or any really recording processes because they think oh you're over overlaying the screen you know you're hacking that kind of thing and they just don't like that at all um, and also why I have this bar at the bottom, you can, excuse me, you can tell um, because at the top up here, it's really hard because you can't see that it has like the bar of like a normal window because this is windowed mode because I can't have it on my main screen. So yeah, it's kind of a pain, but whatever. So we got our game capture going. Um, let's say we want to add, oh, like a camera. And I have my camera facing the wall, so because my girlfriend's uh, sleeping and she thinks that's kind of creepy, which it's okay. Um, come on, there we go. So I got that going. Hi, everybody. Um, so we can activate that. And I'm going to put it my, in this corner. And, of course, just like old OBS, we can make it smaller. Um, we can crop it a little bit if you wanted to you know whatever size you felt like it you know it's just kind of what you want you can uh, shrink it or stretch it out it's just whatever you want to do for your camera um, so we got pretty much the basics in step four um, twitch twitch alerts so we're just gonna make a new window twitcher twitch alerts and we're going to go to our um, dashboard I've already uh, logged in and everything for twitch uh, for twitch alerts and this will bring up this screen we'll go to alert box on the left side and then we're gonna hit this button called launch and it brings up this green screen and I'm gonna put it on my second window because all it does was is pretty much this I test followers and of course when I click on it it just pops up makes a little noise and that's it so I'm gonna put it on that my second screen and we really don't need that anymore and suffer to uh, test it and I think I have to back out of that there we go so it's recording this but we have that nasty green screen and the the bar at the top because that looks really really yucky so we're gonna change that a bit so we're gonna right click on twitch alerts and go to filters and we're going to add a filter and we're going to use color key and we're just going to leave it and name it as color key and we're just going to leave it as uh, the color green now if it is a completely different color if you've changed it to a different color you can do a custom color 
And if uh, if you're using this for uh, Twitch alerts, you can set this color. You just have to copy and paste that into this, and then I'll just select that color. But it's green. It's green. Everything's good. So now it's invisible, and if I were to open this and scoot that over a little bit and test it, it works. And you can hear the noise and everything. So... It all works, and it really does help a lot if you have a second monitor. It really, really honestly does. So all that's good, but we still have that pesky, like, white bar that has, like, the URL and everything. Um, so we're going to right-click once again on Twitch Alerts, go to, uh, not Properties, uh, to Filters once again, and click Plus, and we are going to add Crop and Pad, which is just, it's going to show the window, and we're just going to uh, go down from the top, and um, we're going to go positive because we're trying to crop it away. And it just enough to get it away. There we go. So 27 is probably the right number for it. Everyone else is going to be different. So you may have to fiddle around with that. So if I test it again, it works. Everything works, which is really cool. So everything works on that, which is awesome. You got your camera over here. You got the game going. Um... Oh, wow. Well, what did I do? Huh. Oh, did I click on the credits? I think it did. Yep, I, I clicked on the credits. Oh, well. Uh, so, yeah, everything's working just fine and dandy, which is really, really cool. And I'm glad. Um, and I don't know why it, uh, OBS Classic didn't have those options. Because I um, there was two people that were in the comment section of the old OBS Classic video that I put out a while ago. And they didn't have um, the color key on it or um, uh, the sub-region. Um, they didn't have those two little boxes for it. And I was like, that's really weird. So I don't know what the heck. That was that was something. So um, one last thing before we end the video. We're going to add um, a noise gate. So, you know, when I'm typing, you don't hear this. You know, you don't hear that noise. So we're going to click on the gear where our mic is at. And we're going to go to filters. Click on the plus, and we're going to add noise gate, and we're just going to click OK. I set mine to about 1920, and then I set my open threshold to about 10, and that is pretty good. So now you can't hear that, but, um, it's, well, I mean, OBS is not picking that up, but, of course, you guys can hear it because I'm using action to record it. So that is pretty much it for that, and then, of course, you can add another scene, you know, be like BRB. You know, and then have it switch between those, you know, uh, go to add sources, image, um, browse, we'll just do something quick, go to my thumbnails, um, oh, I took pictures, oh, that's pretty cool, um, just do this because Star Wars is amazing, that's a really cool picture, um, so, you know, saying we're playing the game, we're, you know, doing whatever we're doing, and... It's like, oh no, I gotta, I want to switch um, to that, and you can just click on it, which is really cool, and it fades, which is makes it a lot neater. And of course, you can set a hotkey to switch to that, and BRB, you know, if I have to go somewhere to the bathroom or get a bite to eat or something, especially if you're live streaming for a long time. So, um, other than that, that's really about it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below, and I'll try to help out as much as I can. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one.